What's going on guys, it's DJX and today I have my first Black Ops 3 video going up on my channel and what it is, it's a hardpoint match on Combine the way they have hardpoint in this game is a little different from uh, Black Ops 2 and AW um, they have, it's like 5 minutes like count, like counting down and the countdown thing is like if you're not in the hill or the hill's contested then like the timer goes down but if you're in the hill like if there's one team in the hill uh, as you can see, like we're in the hill, so the time stays where it is, and it's still first to 250, but it's just a little different in that sense. And what I'm using here is the VM VMP, yeah, the VMP. I use long barrel, quick draw, and grip, and it's a really good gun. It melts super fast. Uh, this gun and the Vesper are the two guns that melt really fast. Um, I haven't really used the Vesper that much, but um, I've seen other people use it, and the thing shreds as well. And the camo I have is called Integer, it's my favorite camo, you have to get like 40 headshots with it, so yeah, I've been playing I've been playing a lot of the game. And what I really want to talk about is the thrust jumping in this game, people were kind of comparing it to Advanced Warfare, but as you can see, you can't like just thrust jump anywhere, there's not really any people jumping in the air to kill you, like, you just jump around or you slide to get just around the map, and you, you get all the gunfights are still on the ground and everything, but other than that, um, there's nothing wrong with the thrust jumping. Thrust jumping. The thrust jumping is great. It's not like Advanced Warfare at all, like people were going to compare it to. Uh, Advanced Warfare is just ridiculous with how you can just double jump in the air, get out of gunfights, and you can just kill people while you're in the air and they're just on the ground. But in this game, it's a lot more balanced, and people usually don't shoot as much as they're jumping in the air as they did in Advanced Warfare. Like, most of the gunfights are on the ground, which is great. It feels like, it literally just feels like Black Ops 2 is in the future. So that's what I really like about it. Um, <clears throat> all the guns in the game are pretty much balanced. Uh, but what I mean by that is like the Vesper and the VMP. They, yeah, they are, they melt. But um, all the other subs they melt as well, just not as fast. So it really just comes down to personal pre personal preference for the subs. But for the ARs, mostly people are using the M8 or they're using the um, what's that other gun called? Uh, the the Shiva. The Shiva is like a foul from BO2. It's it melts and you have rapid fire on it, which they're gonna have to nerf that, or they're gonna have to take rapid fire like out of it. Cause if you have rapid fire on that thing, it's a two shot kill, and it shoots really fast with rapid fire. So that's really OP. But the M8 is just like the old M8. It's like a four round burst. It's either one, <coughs> sorry, either one burst or a two burst. It's a really nice gun. I mean, you just gotta hit all your shots with it, and you'll win. And what I really like about this game is there's not as much bullshit. What I mean by that is like if you get first shot on somebody, you will get the kill. Like there's usually maybe like once or twice where you won't get the kill, but for the most part you get the kill, and that's what's great about this game. Uh, there's not really that much bullshit. You get you get what you deserve. And um, yeah, other than that, um, what I want to talk about the specialists. The specialists. Uh, one I'm using is the gravity spikes and. You don't really get it as often as people like we're saying you get it in the beta. They really, they really controlled that in this uh, the actual game, and you don't get the gravity. You don't get the specials as much as you do. The one I'm using is gravity spikes, and what that is is um, you press um, the two triggers once you get it, and you can and you fly up in the air and stomp that down, and anybody like within like a certain radius of you will die. So it's really good for hardpoint because if they're all on the hill, you have gravity spikes. You can get over there, and just gravity spike down, just take them all out of the hill. So that's good. And the also the streaks in this game are very good. They're kind of like VO2 streaks, just different names. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the UAV and the the wraps. The wraps are like little robot things that uh, <clears throat> roll around the map, and they explode to kill the enemy, which are pretty cool. That's one of my favorite streaks in the game. And I just use a UAV so I can see where people are on the map. Now, I don't know if there's a Blackbird or a VSAT in this game. I haven't seen it. When I haven't leveled up enough to unlock it if there is one. But if there is, I'm be using that instead of the UAV just because it's a lot easier. Because it's, it's constant. It's not like the UAV where it's just a sweeping. So, that's one thing I do uh, like about the game is the streaks. The streaks are really nice. And also, uh, for the snipers. Now, the snipers... Um, uh, I love sniping, okay, you guys probably know that, I love sniping. And the snipers in this game, they're kind of hard to use, but it's kind of fun because not everybody can just pick up a sniper and be good with it. There's no aim assist, so it is harder to get the kills with it, but if you're good enough, you will get the kills. Like, it doesn't really affect you that much. 
Yeah, like, if, you, if you can hit your shots, you'll get the kill. But, yeah, but if you're not good with the sniper, you're probably not going to be good with it in this game. And, like, Black Ops 2, all the maps were three lanes for the most part. And they've really done that for this game as well. Like, you can see on this map, you can go on that wall over there, like, wall jump. I mean, wall ride and the enemy's base. You can go around and go through that, like, that little puddle over there to get to the base. Or you can go down middle. So, like, all the maps are really three lane, which is great. Uh, that's really good for competitive. Because, like, in Ghost, all the maps were really, uh, three lane. In AW, they were somewhat three lanes, but some maps were, like, four lanes. And... With this three lanes, it's really more competitive, and it's not uh, taking away from anything. Like, like what, there's not there's more than three lanes on a map, then it's just harder to cover ground, and people can just sneak by certain areas. So, the three lanes are really good right now, and it's looking pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to predict what uh, the competitive maps are going to be, but I really like this map for Hardpoint. Uh, this is Combine. Combine's a really good map for Hardpoint, um, but for S and D, this map is awful. Just because if you run on the wall, you're gonna die. Um, you come down this, the alley just came down, you're gonna die. Go down mid, you're gonna die. So it's like it's not really a good S and D map, but for hard points, it's a really good map. Um, for S and D, uh, the map Exodus and I think it's Fringe. Yeah, I think it's Fringe. Those are two really good S and D maps. I like them. Uh, they have two sniper points and all. Actually, Fringe has two sniper points, and I think um, Exodus has like one. But other than that, it's pretty good. So, <clears throat> I did play in the uh, league play system now. It's called Arena, and they just need a little fix, fix some bugs about it because I don't think you get a probation from leaving. Because I've had people leave my games and it's just annoying. But um, it's either people leave the game or my teammates just go two and thirty-five. So they just need to fix some bugs about that. And uh, other than that, the game's really good. Um, what else do I want to talk about here? My favorite specialist, like I said, is the gravity spikes, but they also have the sparrow, which is like the bow and arrow. People call it the Katniss. Um, the vision pulse is really good. Uh, when you get the vision pulse and you turn on, you can see the people through walls from like a certain distance. Like you don't see them all the way across the map, so it's not really that bad. So it's pretty balanced with that. Uh, other ones people use are the annihilator. It's like the one-shot pistol, and you I think it's kind of OP, but it's it's a specialist. You don't get to use it the entire game. It's like you only get it for a certain amount of time, just like the Tempest. The Tempest is like the uh, one-shot energy burst. But they're really not OP as everybody makes them out to be, so they're pretty good. Um, but all the specialists, you don't, uh, you don't get them as often as people like expect you to get them, so it's not really that bad. Uh, this game, I, I'm, I haven't really loved Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. And that was my first Call of Duty, and I've just been playing it. Like, I played Ghost. It was okay. AW was okay for, like, a month, and then it turned to shit. But this game feels like it's going to be really good. I think it's going to help competitive grow more. It's going to help YouTube grow more. It's it's looking like a really good year for Call of Duty. And, uh, like, right there, I use the gravity spikes. So there's nobody around me, so I couldn't kill anybody with it. Like, you just got to, like, when you have the special, you just got to make sure there's people around you when you use them. Because if they're not, you're just going to waste them. And like once you pick like okay for like for the annihilator and the tempest when in the sparrow like when you use it there's a certain amount of time you can use it for but when you die it's gone like you can't use it when you respawn so that's really good so it's not as OP and um, I don't really have anything else to talk about guys but this game is looking really promising uh, it's gonna be a good year for Call of Duty it's gonna be a good year for YouTube it's gonna be great uh, expect more videos for me to come out. Uh, maybe even today. I might have another video out today. Uh, I've got some videos today, tomorrow, the next day, every day. I'm gonna upload some Black Ops 3 until it gets boring. Which I hope it never does. I hope it's like another Black Ops 2 never gets boring. And it's gonna be a really good year, guys. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll let you, uh, let you watch the rest of this gameplay in like two more minutes. But uh, anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share it on Twitter. Tell your friends about my videos. And uh, that's been Woody Jackson. I'm out. Peace.